Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you some major plant chores that I have to do. And if you see this incredible jungle behind me, I have all of these vining pothos or syndapsis that I need to take care of, as well as this monstera that needs to be repotted. Um, I just treated this plant right here because she was looking a little funny in her leaves. And so I treated her and then I have some snake plants that I need to repot. So I will definitely not be able to do all of those in this video, but for today, I'm going to be showing you exactly how I have to change my um, my routine for my, vi my vining plants. My vining plants are extremely long and they have definitely taken off in the growing season, growing season and I didn't adjust very smoothly with them. And so you're going to see that I have lots and lots of yellow leaves on my plants because they needed to be watered maybe two days ago, but I didn't water them. Normally in the winter months, it's okay for me to see that they need to be watered and give it a little bit of time before I water them. But now that they are in the growing season and they are so long and heavy, I can't do that because they, are in need of so much more. During the winter months, I normally do a thorough watering just like this at one time a week. And then in between, I may give it a little sprinkling of water just in case. So that doubles when it's the growing season and they definitely just kick started into the growing season and I didn't kick start with them. And so they have, they're having a little bit of problems. Right now, what I did was I actually just put a little bit of water into their soil so that they can just drink up a little bit of water before I give them their plant food. I am going to be trying topping off their soil with the, worm, the earthworm castings. And I think that I want to, because that is a major change for them, I don't want to just change and not um, water them first. Actually, when I fertilize my plants, I always water them first because I don't want them to just immediately go from being dry to being fed something that could be off balance for them. And so what I I did was I just gave them a little bit of water so they're not as droopy as they were before. They weren't so much droopy as much as they were super soft and again, they have yellow leaves. So this is what I'm going to be tackling. I'm going to be tackling all of these plants. There are one, two, three, four, five, six vining plants that definitely need attention right now. And I'm going to bring you a little bit closer so that you can just see why I I was starting. I said I panicked. I said no matter what, I have to take care of these plants today. <laughs> it's over here that my exotica has a yellow leaf and it's starting to curl a little bit. And I don't like for my plant to curl this much because sometimes even after you water them, they still kind of keep that curled formation and I want them to stay nice and flat. I don't want them to curl up like that and stay curled. So I usually try to get to them a lot sooner than this. But this plant is very, it is so easy to get root rot with this plant. So this was a little bit of a challenge for me to try to balance that off. And this is my first springtime with this plant. Now over here, this is not my first springtime with this jade. And so I should have known that it was time for me to listen to her, but I didn't. Look how long and heavy she is. They're all so long and heavy. Over here, I have my Manjula. She is so long now. Oh my goodness, I love that. Oh, these plants just give me chills with how beautiful they are. Okay, so you see I have all of these leaves. I am only going to pull off the leaves that come off naturally. Anything that doesn't want to come off, I am not going to pull them. They should come off naturally. A little tug and they should come off. Outside of that, they're staying on until they're ready because I don't want to open up any ports for disease. Oh, that one came off nicely. Okay, so what I will do right now, now that I've just done that, I am going to, I can't get over how incredibly thick and rich these plants are. So, <laughs> okay, so for the clean, for the fertilizer or feeding that I'm going to be doing for this, for these plants, the new thing is going to be the all natural organic soil enricher. And this is the earthworm castings. This is what it looks like. 
and I purchased this from and I purchased this from Home Depot. <laughs> I got this from Home Depot. So this is what I'm going to be using it. It says it is made for vegetables. It is one part earthworm castings and three parts soil. So I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of this on top of the soil inside each pot so that I can um, let this kind of nourish the soil throughout the season. I think I will more than likely still be using my traditional fertilizers, whether it's adding the coffee or the banana water to it, I will still be doing that. But I'm just going to add a little bit of this just to see how this works out for them. Now I have to go through and just top off the soil with this. So now that I've done that, I'm just going to take a little bit of water. I just have my jug. I'm not gonna turn the shower on to the plants as much as I'm gonna take my jug. And I am just going to water through just a little bit, just so that the um, earthworm castings is allowed to penetrate the soil. And I have not watered these prior to today, so it will be perfectly fine because overwatering your plants comes from watering them too often and not giving them a thorough drink for one day. So that's what I'm going to do. And my plants, I should say, are in extremely well-draining soil. <laughs> they are, they have, they are very, very heavily covered in bark on their roots. And so this, the water just goes through very, very easily. And as a matter of fact, I will probably just put the shower on for them because it will be a little bit easier and faster for me to do that because I have to run out in a few minutes. So from here, what I will do is I am going to allow these plants just to sit here and soak up. I'm gonna close the curtain in the shower again. And I'm just going to allow the, the plants to sit and soak up all the moisture in this room. Let them drip for a while because I mean, you probably can't hear it, but they're still dripping a little bit. I'm not a little bit, a lot. <laughs> and so I'm going to let them drip through and then I'm going to clip them back into my bedroom because that's where they live now. My really long plants are creating a plant curtain in my bedroom and I absolutely love it. Oh my goodness, I love it. I have wanted a plant curtain, a full thick plant curtain for so long and now I have it and these plants are what are providing that plant curtain and I'm really excited. So I will see you when it is time for me to transport them. Okay, <laughs> it's been about three hours. The plants have finished dripping and I'm just tugging on anything to see if they will all see how they just release. When you just let them do what they do, you don't have to worry about like forcing them to do anything. The plant will take care of itself. Whereas if I didn't wait, I'd be ripping them off. Look at that. You see how easily that's coming off? Just so easily. I don't want them to come off, but <laughs> that's reality for right now. So you just, so I just water it and I let the process happen. That one's not ready. Anything else? I didn't expect that one to come off. Okay, what about you? Nope. Okay. But you get the point. If you just let the plant take care of itself, just give it the tools that it needs to um, purge anything that would be holding it back. Just let it take care of itself and it will, the leaves will just pop right off. You don't have to worry about forcing them off. I have everything. I'm going to start transferring these back to my bedroom now. I am happy to say that my Exotica didn't stay curled. I was so nervous that she would stay curled, but her leaves that were curled, uncurled. So I'm really excited about that. <laughs> okay, so here we are. This is my finished setup. My beautiful plant curtain. I'm so in love with this plant curtain. This has been a major dream for me for a very long time and I am not sad about it. I had to work hard to get these things to go here. Well, assist them because to say the least, I'm not the one doing any of this wonder. It's not me. This is definitely creation at its best, but this is gorgeous and I love her. Oh, this one right here is the only one that is doubled up. The rest of them I have been trimming to fit the length that I want, but then I realized if I were to just double it up, I would have the fullness that I want right away. And so that's what I started doing with them. 
and I can always bring it down and cut it if someone wants cuttings from it. I just recently cut all of these right here to share with someone. So those are all, you know, freshly cut, but then there's still just the other vines are just like dropping down, 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 down. And I'm not complaining about it. So I'm really excited about this, but I am super excited to show you what it looks like with the sun behind it because it is breathtaking. It's absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> so we'll wait. So until this is my morning view. This is just absolutely gorgeous. I still have a couple of yellow leaves that I need to take off of the vines, but they're not jumping off right now, so I am not going to force them off. I actually lost a ton of leaves in this process. I mean, I have a whole container because I just, because it was just the transition time that I waited a little too long, but I won't let that happen again. I will definitely be on it from now on. I just really wanted you to see how incredibly beautiful this is with the sunlight behind it. Just such a beautiful thing. And I can just sit in my chair right over there and just look up at my beautiful vines coming down. Oh, it's such a beautiful plant curtain. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate your time. I hope you have a fabulous day. Bye, guys.